what's up everybody welcome back to the channel and if you're not familiar with this community that probably means that you're new to the channel so if you're new welcome thanks for subscribing and liking because that's what you're probably going to do towards the end but if you are familiar with this community low south toes by toll brothers all single story community i've sold several homes you may recognize some of the facades and the exterior of the home kind of like some of these right here these particular homes are very unique and the reason being we're in Summerlin next to one of the best parks in the best school zone near red rock canyon one of the best locations close proximity to the freeway there's so many cool things about this particular neighborhood and you're going to want to watch more videos about this neighborhood and i will link the descriptions to some of the other property tours that i've done in the description below Without further ado, 3,100 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms with a casita. This property has so much to offer. And again, if you're new to the channel, welcome from my returning subscribers. Thank you so guys so much for subscribing and liking and engaging with me. I look forward to connecting with you. And before we jump in, I want you to pay attention to one very particular thing. When you walk in, this place feels like home. And I'll see you guys on the inside. Welcome in guys. So one of the reasons why I said this feels like home when you walk in is because the in the, this foyer, this entrance just feels so welcoming. The colors, the ambiance. As you walk in, there's a bedroom that most people miss. We'll go back to it. But right off the entrance, you have this office. And come with me, Rudy. When you get into this office, a couple of things that you're going to notice. You have your desk, but you have this seating area as well. Most people that have this floor plan, they have this as a formal dining room. The seller decided to make this an office space and not have a formal dining room because it doesn't appease to their lifestyle. This particular home, the way that they live in the home, this was better served as an office space. And I, I really love that they brought this in from the outside. So one of the things that I've talked about how things have changed over the years and how people design their homes is bringing the inside outside. And if you notice at the entrance, the same material was used outside. And then when we go in the backyard, you'll see it there as well. Back to the entrance. Let's check out that bedroom up front. This bedroom is ensuite. So right now you'll kind of see the cool thing, the cool lighting in here. I won't go too deep, but as you can see, the lights off are intentionally because I want you to see how this young gentleman, the teenager of the house, lives in this home. So when you think all single story, most people think retired. You think that you can't have kids in a, in a community like this. That's, that's not true. This floor plan actually works. So as we go back out, what you're going to notice is every other bedroom is separate from the primary bedroom, even the casita. So whether you have a teenager, a newborn, guests, friends, an angry spouse that you want to be away from. It really doesn't matter. This floor plan can pretty much work for everybody. This way we have your garage entry and your laundry. And then now we're walking into the main living area with the kitchen as well. And remember, I said that this particular homeowner, they live in the home without having a formal dining room because they have an eating kitchen. What you'll notice is this is a full table. So you can actually have Thanksgiving here while still having an entertainer's kitchen. You got the quartz countertops. You got the 36 inch cabinets. You got granite countertops on the back, your cooktop. Here you have your microwave and your built in refrigerator and a double oven. This way you have a pantry, a walk in pantry. And one of the things that I love about what they did was they extended the cabinets. This was an upgraded option to take the cabinets all the way to the wall pantry here and then we're going to go back that way and I'm going to talk about the main living space. I get a lot of messages and feedback from homeowners and potential buyers and one of the things especially being in Las Vegas where we have a lot of people coming from California, New York, Washington, now a lot of migration from Arizona, 66% of the people that come into our city are coming from California. One thing they say is why does Toll Brothers Closets get so small? Why is there such big open spaces? And that's one of the things that Toll Brothers is known for. 
entertaining homes, having a large sliding glass doors. You got 24 feet of sliding glass doors here. You got a 12 foot slider uh, at the dining room. And then you have this great big open space. I love what they did with the tile here on the fireplace. You have a linear uh, fireplace here. It's gas with a mantle. And they also added these built-in shelves. And I love how they wrapped around the tile to continue it as a backdrop with the shelves. And then this accent wall as well. Keeping the texture, you have the upgraded wall texture that they did from the builder. So they really took the time to design this home and make it feel like home. So now, right behind you is gonna be the powder room. So I'm gonna swing around, let you guys check it out. That's the powder room. And then, Rudy, let's keep going back. Right here we have a coat closet and we're going into the primary bedroom. So before we jump into the primary bath that makes you feel like you're in a resort, I walked into this home and I said, what were you guys thinking? Like, why would you want to sell this place? This is awesome. I live in Summerlin. I love being in Summerlin. This house is a great location. They did such a fantastic job. However, the next chapter of their life has come and someone gets to reap the rewards for all the work that they did. Primary bedroom, you have a king size bed, two nightstands. So it's a pretty good size room with a seating area. You have the shutters on all the windows. I love the texture. I like to say the darker paint color textures, it makes it a mood, it's a vibe. So it also in the primary bedroom, you have this 12 foot sliding glass door and access to the backyard. You have the fire pit outside. I really love what they did with the tile. And again, I'm a nighttime relaxing, grab a glass of wine, take my wife by the hand. We go sit by the fire. I whisper sweet nothings in the ear. We're chilling. I love it. This is such a vibe. And I think anybody who buys this home will appreciate being able to walk out of your backyard and go sit by a fire and have alone time with your partner. Can't beat it. It's priceless. Now let's get into the primary bathroom. In the primary bathroom, this is what they did not do with the builder. This was all done after they moved into the home, which means they added more value. They made this bathroom literally feel like a resort. I love what they did with the countertops here, with the cabinets. They did an, an actual counter, a useful counter space where you don't necessarily have a slab, you got the glass. I love what they did with this, wrapping the slab with the sink, but then also, without getting too personal, the pullouts for their personal items. Like, come on, and they're all soft clothes. I love the hardware, I love the handles. Next level, even down to putting, changing the, the light fixture colors. So much detail, floating shelves, and then doing the back wall instead of just having the big mirror, doing a framed mirror with an accent tile on the wall, and they wrapped it all the way around in the bathroom with a chandelier, two separate shower heads with a hand wand, and so much design there as well. Here, where the magic happens, the water closet, and then custom closet built as well. I don't really show too many closets, but I love the way that they did this one, so they definitely passed the closet test. And this isn't even staged. This is how they live. They're very organized people, and I love that for them. Now, we'll go to the next guest bedroom. Now we're in a guest bedroom. Again, closet here, and when you come in, this particular room is staged as a gym. So you have your workout equipment here. However, this is an actual bedroom. They just don't need the extra bedroom, but it's en suite. So you have a full bath as well. So right after you're done working out, you can get in the shower, clean up, and get back to your work day. Before we go out to the backyard, I want to talk about the, about the casita. And the casita is an optional fourth bedroom. It's modeled as another office, as a man cave, but it could be an additional bedroom. So before we go out there, I want you to take in some of the awesome features of this house, and then we'll get into the backyard, talk about the casita, and then we'll wrap up the tour. the house and come into the backyard again what I mentioned before having the wrought iron outside that's also inside and then also in the front of the house that gate that you saw when you came in definitely bringing the inside and outside texture and that life together 
What you're gonna notice outside, you have this covered patio that still lets in a lot of light, but still gives you some shade as well. You have a seating area, really nice pool, extra large pool, and then you have your outdoor kitchen and then a cooler as well. What you'll notice about the large pool, in Vegas, there's no more opportunities. At the current moment, at the making of this video, there are no more opportunities for you to do a pool larger than 600 square feet. Doesn't matter how deep it is, just 600 square feet, including your spa. So this is a bonus right now. If you wanna be in Vegas in the hot summers and you're looking for a large pool, look no further, here's one right here. And right here, you're also gonna notice the covered patio. Again, you have access from the, din the dining area as well. And then from that dining area, you have the casita. This casita is only accessible from the outside. So you have to come outside to access it. So great for an in-law suite or teenager, a kid that's going to college and they're coming home or family member or guest. If you would like that person to have access to this, there's a door, there's a way that you can lock it from the outside and then they could come have access from the side gate and they can come right in through the backyard and have access to their own space. We'll take a look at it, but before we do, let's continue with the backyard. So back here, the coolest thing about this space is if you close your eyes, yet keep the sound on, you get to hear the relaxing water from the scuppers. Upgrade. So when you get a pool in Vegas, there's a standard way that you can build a pool. You can build a pool, basically a hole in the ground, for $60,000, $70,000. But then when you take it to another level and you start adding additional features like this wet deck area, great for the kids. You can throw an umbrella in there, have your kids there. It's very shallow, about two feet. Let the kids play. Then you have your stairs down. And as it comes through this way, it gets deeper in the middle. You have your scuppers, all the upgraded tile around. You have the planters in the back. And then on the other side is where that fire pit is. So that's where we're gonna go next. So imagine you're having a barbecue, you're having a good time and you have your pool party. Well, not everybody wants to be in the pool, so some people hang out here and they're eating the delicious food. I'm thinking, you know, barbecuing some grills. They've marinated for a couple hours, maybe a day. I like to marinate my ribs for about a day, then throw them on the grill. Then you sit there, you have your, you have your barbecue, kids in the pool, friends in the pool, everybody goes home. And remember that glass of wine that I was talking about? You grab that glass of wine, you come and grab a seat, sunken fire pit now this is how committed i am to these videos it's june and i'm standing in front of a fire pit you get the point it's hot this is a real fire pit <laughs> this is a real fire pit and it works clearly it works clearly but all jokes aside seriously this is such a great space the the way that the homeowners designed it the way that they've put some love into it, you really can feel that this is a home. Unlike a lot of homes that feel like a giant white box and there's really no character, there was a lot of love put into the home and they're ready for the next chapter and it's ready for someone else's next chapter. So let's go check out this casita. So in the casita, here's what you're going to notice. This is an actual bedroom and it has a bathroom as well. So model is the office. This is the man cave. However, this could be an additional bedroom. What I like about this space is that it's flexible. I've also had other homes that had the same exact floor plan in the community where they made this the gym, or they made this the man cave, or they made this the guest suite where mom stayed, or this was the teenager space. So I had all these different variations of how people use the home. So again, 3,100 square feet, very useful space, no space wasted, three car garage, and we're coming on the market at a million six. Very great value. Price per square foot is on point in Summerlin. 89138 is the zip code. And this home, I hate to be cliche and so cheesy, but it will not last. If you want more information, I'm just kidding. You guys get it. Come on in back to the house. Enjoy the rest of the house. And then that'll wrap up our tour. Thank you guys again so much for, for tapping in with me. Thank you for supporting and thank you for being a part of this journey. I really appreciate it. All right guys, so that concludes the tour back in Los Altos. If you want more information about this property or any of our other listings, feel free to give me a call, 702-883-7845. And remember as always, like, subscribe, drop a comment, and add me on social media at the Sam Coleman. I'll see you guys on the next one.